coming up on the SPFL's official YouTube channel, the latest action from the championship, including a five-star performance from Cowden Beef. A point for 10-man Rovers. And Dundee closed the gap at the top. Central Park is where we begin this week, where Cowdenbeath were convincing winners over championship bottom side Morton. Ironically enough, Jordan Morton fired the hosts ahead within two minutes. The visitors couldn't clear the danger, and Morton pounced from the edge of the area. Colin Cameron's men built on that great start and added a second goal two minutes later when Kane Hemmings powered his way through the defence. The young striker timed his run well and was left with only keeper Nicholas Carreau to beat. Cowden Beath looked out of sight at the end of the first half when they added a third goal five minutes before the interval. And it was Kane Hemmings with his second goal of the afternoon. The ball was knocked across the Morton goal and it slipped under Carroll, allowing Hemmings to react and slam the ball into the net. Alan Moore's men threw themselves a lifeline when they pulled the goal back right on the stroke of half-time through Doogie Emery. A quick break left Cowdenmeath looking exposed at the back and Emery fired the ball low under Thomas Flynn. The hosts added two goals late in the second half to make sure of the points. First of all, Greg Stewart finished from close range to make it 4-1. It was Kane Hemmings who picked out his unmarked teammate in front of goal. Hemmings then scored again 10 minutes from time to seal his hat-trick and it was a truly remarkable goal. The ball looked as if it was about to run out of play, but the corner flag kept it on the field and with Morton caught cold, Cowdenbeath fed the ball to the PC striker who outstripped the defence and scored that all-important fifth goal. It was a bizarre goal to concede, but it summed up Morton's start to the season. Cowdenbeath moving up to eighth with the win. Hamilton were pegged back by Wraith Rovers at New Douglas Park. The hosts forged ahead with just over half an hour played when James Keatings broke clear before slotting low past David McGurn. It was Alec Crawford who managed to poke the ball through to the former Celtic youngster and he finished sharply with his left foot. Rovers were reduced to 10 men minutes later when Dougie Hill was dismissed, but despite that, they earned a penalty 20 minutes from time. Michael Devlin was the player punished for bringing down Gordon Smith. Callum Elliott converted to ensure a share of the points. It finished 1-1. Aki's drawing, Dundee closed the gap on the league leaders to a single point with a late win at home to Queen of the South. Peter McDonald put the hosts ahead 12 minutes from time. Keeper Xander Clark on loan from St Johnston could have done better with a shot from the edge of the area, but when it squirmed free, McDonald was well placed to score. Jim McIntyre's men came roaring back though and two minutes later Derek Lyle equalised with a low drive from the centre of the area. The striker had only been on the pitch for a matter of minutes. It looked like an inspired substitution from the Dumfries men.
But Dundee were not to be denied. Another substitute, Craig Beatty, hit the winner a minute from time. The Dundee players knew it was a huge win and one that moved them to within touching distance of the league leaders. And once again, the Dens Park fans had Beatty to thank for that all-important goal. The former Celtic striker showing his prowess from just inside the box to finish low into the bottom of the net. Livingston also left it late but came away with a narrow win over Alloa. John McGlynn's men made the perfect start when Stefan Skugel fired them ahead within two minutes. The youngster has been attracting attention from other clubs and with a goal like that, it's easy to see why. Brilliant finish with his left foot. Six minutes later, Alloa came right back into the match. The Wasps broke forward with purpose and Kevin Colley was left with the simplest of finishes. Andy Kirk knocked the ball across the base of goal, and Colley only had to knock the ball over the line. Livingston were enjoying a good spell of pressure in the second half, but it was no surprise when they regained the lead in the 69th minute. When the ball was played back into the Alloa area, Call Donaldson wanted it most and headed past Scott Bain. <laughs> Stefan Skugel was the man providing the cross, and Donaldson managed to rise above his marker. Three minutes from time, it looked like Alawa had managed to grab a point. A long clearance from keeper Bain was worked to Ben Gordon, and he managed to fire the ball past Darren Jameson. The defender was surrounded by yellow shirts, but he managed to get the shot away, and the keeper was helpless. But the hosts were not to be beaten and they managed to find a winner in the final minute of the game. A decent break down the right-hand side ended up with the ball falling kindly for Andy Barrowman inside the area and he didn't make any mistake. A dramatic end to the game as Livingston returned to winning ways with Barrowman's finish. The final game in the championship was at the Falkirk Stadium where Dumbarton came out on top. All the goals came in the first half here with Greg Fleming knocking the visitors ahead in the seventh minute. Jordan Kirkpatrick had the initial shot but Fleming got the important touch to take the ball past Michael McGovern in the home goal. With 24 minutes on the clock, Ian Murray watched his side double their advantage. This time it was Mitch Meganson getting his name on the score sheet. Paul McGinn picked out his teammate inside the area and the former Aberdeen youngster guided the ball into the back of the net. Brilliant ball in and a lovely touch from Meganson supplied the finish. Falkirk reduced the deficit six minutes before the interval thanks to an absolutely stunning strike from Philip Roberts. The former Arsenal youngster had only one thing in his mind when he picked the ball up and his seeding drive was too hot for Jamie Ewings to handle. It wasn't enough for Falkirk though and Dumbarton held on for a valuable win. Here's how the fixtures look in the Championship this weekend. Queen of the South travel to Alloa, Cowdenbeath are at Dumbarton 
Leaders Hamilton entertain Falkirk, Livingston host Dundee, and at Starks Park, it's Wraith Rovers versus Morton. In League One, it's Air Reunions versus Air United at New Broomfield. Our Broth travel to Brecon. East Fife have a home clash with Leaders Rangers, Stenhouse Muir, and Forfar meet, while at Stair Park, Stranraer take on Dunfermline. Finally in League 2, it's Clyde Stirling Albion, Annan travel to Elgin, Montrose host East Stirlingshire, Peterhead have a home clash with Berwick Rangers, and at Hamden, Queen's Park welcome Albion Rovers. You'll be able to see the best of the action from these matches next week on the SPFL's official YouTube channel.